Many of us were shocked by the death of beloved TV dad Bob Saget and the actor and comedian and best known for his role, of course, in the hit sitcom Full House. And he'd recently didn't, he's <laughs> recently rather been doing a stand up tour. And Joe Fryer is going to take a look back at his career and the outpouring of love from so many who knew him. For decades, Bob Saget was one of TV's most familiar faces, known as America's dad. Here goes nothing. Making a name for himself on shows in the 80s and 90s. Yes, I see how impressed you are. I did two shows a day, one in class and one in detention. <laughs> the actor and comedian was most famous for his role as Danny Tanner on the hit sitcom Full House. Okay, I have everyone's sandwich just the way they want them. There's a horse in my living room. Playing so the widowed sorry. father of three young so girls for eight seasons. You girls are the greatest. His Wait, neat please. freak character was often uptight. Come here, just a little soot. <laughs> just a little soot? <laughs> did you hear that, Michelle? I'm afraid I did. But could always so make audiences laugh. Um, let's talk strategy. Hey, man. Let's forget about strategy. Um, this next video comes. During that time, he also hosted America's Funniest Home Videos. <laughs> oh, look at all these wonderful moments. Oh, is this fun? Saget had just kicked off a new comedy tour performing in Florida this weekend. On Sunday, Orlando authorities say they found Saget unresponsive in his hotel room where he was pronounced dead. A security officer found a guest not breathing, no pulse. Just hours earlier, Saget had posted on Instagram writing, I'm back in comedy like I was when I was 26. I guess I'm finding my new voice and loving every moment of it. Police say they found no signs of foul play or drug use. For years, Saget lent his signature sense of humor to a variety of shows, including Raising Dad and Surviving Suburbia. He also narrated the hit show, How I Met Your Mother. Kids, it's been almost 20 years since that cold April night in 2013. Recently, he reprised his full house role in the Netflix sequel series, Fuller House. If you take one nibble of that turkey and I'm gonna bite your hand off. Well, his on-screen characters were mostly family friendly. <laughs> what are you laughing at, Puddin' Head? <laughs> on stage, his stand-up was sometimes raunchy, talking about that balance on today in 2014. I've always had comedy that was both family comedy, whether it be a role that I played, or my stand-up, I kind of was a little more unleashed. In 2019, he spoke with Al about the secret to his success. Why do you think you've had such longevity uh, in, in this business? Um, I have been a workaholic since I was a little kid. My secret is I just mm -hmm. work really hard. I work as hard as I can. Overnight, an outpouring of emotion. Full House co-star John Stamos wrote, I am broken. I am gutted. I will never, ever have another friend like him. His TV daughter, Candace Cameron Bure, tweeted, I loved him so much. And Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen, who grew up on Full House, wrote that they were deeply saddened, saying they know he'll be by our side to guide us as gracefully as he always has. You've been real nice. I had a good time. Thank you very much. A man who made so many laugh, being remembered in Hollywood and in homes across America. Wow. It was so nice <laughs> just to, to hear and see his lengthy career. And he was our TV dad growing up. And oh, man. well, if his death wasn't sad enough, the reactions from everyone that he worked with is just heartbreaking. Yes. And you can see the outpouring of love and support. So just, just wonderful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're going to take a brief break so we can all go cry. Yeah. And uh, coming up on today's show, we have a daily dose of motivation. So stay with us for that.